dreams aboard the Hyperion. I certainly have my own. I wasn't the husband or father I should have I been. cheated on my wife <laughs> several times. Years can the Asari are just too engaging. Dunn's agreed to a scouting mission on Habitat 7. I'm gearing up now. <laughs> I'm worried about Sarah. Dr. Tapero says she'll be fine, but she's my daughter. How can I not worry? I hate to leave her like this. It's these moments when you wish you told your children you love them more often. Or ever. Which brings me to the tough part. Kids, if anything happens to me, there are things you're going to find out. I fucked so many Asari. I hope you'll understand. And Krogan. And Salarian. Uh, I can't get the encrypted logs yet, so we're fine. Okay, uh, I'm going to hit up the memory room. Oh. Bleh. I am Dr. Liara Tassoni. Several decades researching ancient Protheans. It is common knowledge that the Protheans were an advanced race that flourished in the Milky Way about 50,000 years ago, then went extinct. Even at the time of this writing, the year 2182, their culture remains a mystery. Nice. During my studies, I have developed some practices that can be used when analyzing any ancient culture. I hope they may prove useful for the research community. Come on, come on, come on, come on. No. <laughs> All right, let's go. Yep, uh, Sam Node. Give me the memories. Ryder, the blocks your father placed on my array are opening. I can now recall specific memories which Alec wanted you to see. <laughs> Wait, I can actually see alien. his memories? <laughs> yes, you will experience them via your implant. Okay. Something new every day. Let's see it. This memory is from the time when your father was posted on the Citadel. <laughs> is this like mini machines? Alex, your recommendations will never fly. Artificial intelligence? It's our best option. If the Council gets wind of this, it'll set humanity standing back decades. You're overreaching. Ambassador Goyle, I'm the military attaché on the Citadel. My mandate is clear. Find an edge for Earth. And AI is your answer? We need to catch up. The Asari, the Salarians, they're centuries ahead of us. We spent 500 years fighting each other. But it's Learn illegal. from this today, people. Their rules, not ours. Why deny Earth an advantage? Define this advantage. It will set us free. We're prisoners of our own five senses. There's a reality greater than ours that we can't perceive, but an AI can. How? By augmenting our own abilities and adding a few new ones. Well, none of that stopped those Geth from revolting. Because they were separate from their creators. But AIs and humans interface directly, experiencing the world together, benefits both. Hey. There's no creator to revolt against. I'm sorry, Alec. We can't take the risk. I appreciate your work, but your request will be denied. It's a reference to the synthesis ending of Mass Effect 3, which is the one I used. Great explosion. Alec? Alec, what did the doctor say? He told me to appreciate the time I have left. There's no cure, Alec. It's terminal. Not on my watch. <laughs> Not on my watch. Oh my god, who the fuck actually talks like that? Wow. Hearing mom again. I never knew that's how dad found out. Alec was a stubborn man. I would hope so. Mom's life was worth fighting for. It would seem his obstinance extended to me as well. Nobody wanted to listen. The idea of you scared people too much. After this, dad moved us back to Earth to care for mom. <laughs> do I have a lazy eye? Why do you want me to see this? Perhaps it was the beginning. Of what? Unknown. Private audio logs are now available in your father's quarters. I detect additional memories, but they are currently locked. They may yet hold answers. Okay, I'll keep working on it. All right, I'm not going to get to now. those logs. We're going to go do a mission, an actual mission. Memory triggers, wait. Okay, so main mission up. Writer family secrets, missing arts, priority ops, better beginning. Let's go. Get 
Get thee to my ship. Running around at the speed of sound. Got nowhere to go. Got follow a rainbow. Da, 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 da. <laughs> Look at his leg leggies. All right, let's go. It's Becky with the good hair. Tan gave us. I hear it's something special. Pathfinder en route. How's the ship? And final checks looking great. We won't be long. The way things are going, we'll be on our own out there. In other words, we're making this up as we go. <laughs> Same. We used to call that tactical improvisation. <laughs> but at least we'll be doing it in style. Ah, uh, yes. My dad was a mysterious douchebag. Very, uh, like, original storyline. Original. Totally original. It's great. It's great. It's all mine. They call I have the best her ideas. The Tempest. Nice. Why do I look orange? <laughs> hey! Tamarad. She's beautiful. She's beautiful. Oh my god. I'm actually really excited. <laughs> Closer look. She's beautiful. Let's pick it up a bit, people. We're 14 months late. So you're the one who's making everything happen. Vetra. No. Vetra Nix. Initiative Wrangler, Provisioner, Gunner, and everything in between. Are we ready? The sooner we get out of here, the better. Hello. You're coming with us? Yes. Otherwise, there's no way they're letting this ship off the station. What's the rush? Just don't want to waste any more time. Hold it, hold it. You're not going anywhere. <laughs> Damn Look it. at the lips. Is something wrong? Director Addison wants to see a complete report of the Tempest supplies, munitions, and crew. Director Tan overruled Addison. The ship's loaded out with equipment for outpost discovery, squarely under Director Addison's purview. Seen you around. Ben, right? <laughs> Came here with a family, didn't you? Son still in cryo? I could pull some strings, get him to the front of the line. Really? Yeah, really. I like her. They told me he wasn't essential. But I miss him. I know. I got family too, Ben. It's done. Addison's gonna kill me. <laughs> Thank goodness. For a sec, I thought I was gonna have to deal with Addison again. <laughs> and no one wants that. All things considered, it was an easy ask. And right now, you need people tearing down obstacles, not putting up more. Thank you, Bioware, for giving Finally, me my life. Who cares about doing stuff and not just talking about it? Oh, Vetra. Oh, Vetra. Okay, yes, she is green enough to bang. But are we going to bang her? It's You only get one chance to bang someone in this universe. And, like, so far, Vetra seems like a prime candidate. But we're aiming for the gay. I did not name my character Dick Ryder. For him to be heterosexual. <laughs> so Vetra right now is taking up candidacy one number one, but let's see what else we get. Everything's state of the art. Labs, sensors, exploration gear. Lesser crew, of course. The best in their field. Ah, glad to see you looking well. The engine core is based on the Ark's Odyssey drive. It runs a hell of a lot quieter. That's Gil Brody. Engineer, mechanic, all around wrench jockey. <laughs> He'd wrench my We call phone. this the research room. There's space for upgrading equipment, gathering intel. Router engaged. Securing connection to Tempest. Welcome aboard, Sam. And Ryder, of course. All run by Suvi Anwar, our science officer. Two humans. Your quarters are below. Plenty of space up here to get everyone together. It's all yours. 
She's light, stealthy, and the fastest ship in her class. <sighs> it's really gonna be something, isn't it? I haven't even shown you the best part. The guns. When you're ready to fly, head over to the bridge. Our pilot should have everything good to go. Nice. <laughs> oh, this is so sweet. Fuck me, this is a nice. Better head to the bridge when we're ready to go. We call this the research room. You can run research projects and coordinate with the Nexus from here. Pathfinder, check this toy. <laughs> well, that's a bit more forward than I'm used Seems to. Seems like we're forever racing, but there's always time to check out new toys, useful ones. Always game for new toys. <laughs> this makes use of old ones, like anything you grabbed on Habitat 7. Raw minerals, tech, doesn't matter. The research station will strip that stuff down, give you options. We're on our own, for everybody else. That's what Pathfinder means now. Yeah, well, everybody should be so lucky. This tech is aces. If the best we get is what we make, Still the best. Check it out. So, so let's reach out new. Huh. Research. Oh shit. Uh, Helios technology. Ooh, okay. Shotgun, shotgun, assault rifle. Pain of fatigue. Ooh. I. I do not have the fucking shit to make this. All right. Well, let's develop something. Uh, Carnifex pistol, Maddox assault rifle. How about a pistol? That looks nice. Yeah, let's go for it. Uh, maybe some new armor. I can't actually make any of these, so that's fun. Uh, sniper rifle? I can't make any of these either. Cool. Uh, oh my god. Jesus Christ, there's a lot of stuff. Okay, I'll sort this all out off stream because that's a bit dull. Let's just get going. Hello, beautiful. Departure trajectory locked, Nexus Control. Ah, time for introductions. You must be Ryder, Gallo Jab. A pleasure to be here, and to meet you, of course. I'll be piloting the Tempest at your word. Quite the ship, but it'll take a Pathfinder's guidance to see us through Helios. Plenty of dangers out there. But I'll do my best to avoid them. That's reassuring. Wouldn't want to lose my finest work to that angry cloud. 